This is Nicholas Crimes, an anaesthetist in Melbourne, Australia. The purpose of this presentation is to provide a brief overview of the Vortex approach. More detailed information can be found on the website at vortexapproach.org or in the free ebook. Although technical competence and planning are crucial to effective airway management, it is well recognised from simulation, case reports and audits of clinical practice that even well-prepared airway experts can fail to perform basic interventions under stress. The major airway algorithms tend to be anaesthetically focused and deal exclusively with the situation where the primary desired airway is an endotracheal tube, usually overlooking the common situation in elective anaesthesia where it might be a supraglottic airway or even a face mask. They are also often context-specific, providing different algorithms for adult, paediatric, obstetric and other patient populations. The result is that while these resources are valuable training tools to consult prior to initiating airway management, they cannot be directly applied to many clinical situations and are often too complex to be referred to during the process of managing an airway emergency. In contrast, the Vortex is designed to be used in real time during an evolving airway crisis, independent of context or the background of the clinicians involved. Its purpose is to facilitate implementation of prior training and planning by already competent staff in order to help them perform under pressure. To achieve this, it must be simple enough to be able to be referred to in real time by teams of potentially highly stressed clinicians. It must be flexible enough that the same tool can be applied to any situation in which the need for advanced airway management might arise. And ideally, it should also be universal so that the same tool can be used by all clinicians involved in advanced airway management, irrespective of critical care specialty or whether they come from a medical, nursing or paramedical background. The Vortex is based on the premise that the use of a face mask, supraglottic airway or endotracheal tube are the only techniques by which alveolar oxygen delivery can be established using the anatomical conduits of the upper airway. If a best effort at each of these upper airway lifelines is unsuccessful, then a can't intubate, can't oxygenate or KAIKO situation exists. In this circumstance, the creation of an artificial passage between the front of the neck and the trachea is the only option remaining to restore alveolar oxygen delivery. The Vortex approach refers to this emergency procedure as KAIKO rescue. Inability to establish alveolar oxygen delivery following a best effort at any lifeline mandates spiral movements towards the centre of the vortex tool. The circular arrangement of the three lifelines means that airway management can commence with any one of them and move between the others in any sequence according to clinician preference in a given context. If completed best efforts at all three lifelines are unsuccessful, then this culminates in arrival at the central zone of the vortex tool, signifying the need to initiate Kaiko rescue. Conversely, if any lifeline is successful, this is depicted by outward movement into the green zone. The green zone is defined as any situation in which adequate alveolar oxygen delivery can be confirmed. The green zone is also visible at the center of the tool, signifying that when completed best efforts at all three lifelines are unsuccessful, Kaiko Rescue also provides a mechanism for alveolar oxygen delivery and is a path to safety for the patient. The circular graphic on the tool is intended to represent looking down into a funnel. In this lateral three-dimensional view of the vortex, the sloping sides of the central area of the funnel, where alveolar oxygen delivery cannot be confirmed, emphasise that this is an unstable situation where the team must keep moving forward to efficiently establish alveolar oxygen delivery if harm to the patient from hypoxia is to be avoided. The narrowing of the funnel reinforces the diminishing time and options available as repeated attempts occur and the inevitability of needing to progress to Kaiko rescue if best efforts at all three lifelines are unsuccessful. The deepening blue at the centre of the tool alludes to impending cyanosis if alveolar oxygen delivery is not restored. In the three-dimensional image it can be seen that the green zone surrounds the funnel, making it visible at both the perimeter and centre of the circular overhead view. In contrast to the sloping surface of the funnel, the green zone is composed of tiers of horizontal rings, reinforcing that entry to the green zone at any level represents a situation of relative safety that presents the team with the opportunity to pause in order to reoxygenate the patient, assemble resources 
and make a plan. This three-dimensional view is only used to convey these additional concepts. It is not intended to be referred to during an airway crisis. Only the overhead circular view appears on the implementation tool. As movement around the vortex relates to completion of best efforts at each of the lifelines, it is important to be able to identify what constitutes a best effort. To assist with this, the Vortex tool provides five categories of optimization that can be applied equally to any of the three lifelines. These are manipulations, adjuncts, changing the size or type of devices, use of suction or increased oxygen flow, and optimization of patient muscle tone. The specific interventions relevant to each lifeline under each of these broad headings are described in more detail at the website at vortexapproach.org and in the Vortex eBook. Exhaustive implementation of all the interventions under a given heading would be neither time efficient or appropriate. The intention of the headings is to prompt consideration of the available strategies, with only those deemed to have merit in a given context being implemented. This structured approach to prompting optimizations is important from two perspectives. Firstly, it facilitates the efficient implementation of optimization strategies and decreases the risk that crucial interventions are overlooked. Secondly, when entry to the green zone cannot be achieved, it allows recognition of an endpoint to optimizations for a given lifeline and provides the clinical team with permission to move on to the remaining options. Together, these contributions maximize the chance of entering the green zone as rapidly as possible. The Vortex tool also prompts to remind the team that a maximum of three attempts should be had at each lifeline, and that at least one of these should be by the most experienced, immediately available clinician. Finally, it prompts the team to escalate the KAIKO status with declaration of any completed best effort at a lifeline that has not secured entry into the green zone. The KAIKO status is an adjunctive tool that works in an integrated manner with the Vortex. It specifies predefined actions for escalation towards Kaiko Rescue that are linked to declaration of a completed best effort at any lifeline. The Kaiko status may also be discretionally escalated according to other clinical criteria, but should not reach go unless completed best efforts at all three lifelines have been unsuccessful. The Kaiko status provides a means to prime the team, both technically and psychologically, for the performance of this confronting procedure as the likelihood of entering the green zone using one of the upper airway lifelines diminishes. Unlike the preparatory materials of the major airway algorithms, the Vortex is a high acuity implementation tool designed to be used in real time during the high stakes, time critical situation of an evolving airway emergency. It should not be viewed as an alternative to the major algorithms, but as a complementary tool to facilitate implementation of the management guidelines outlined by these resources. The primary goal of the Vortex is to avoid the need for Kaiko Rescue by maximizing opportunities to efficiently enter the green zone. It also encourages priming for Kaiko Rescue as the situation deteriorates, as well as recognition of the need to initiate Kaiko Rescue in the rare circumstance where entry to the green zone cannot be achieved following best efforts at all three lifelines. The Vortex provides an approach which can be used consistently, not only during emergencies, but also during routine airway management, as a format for airway planning and for training. The ability to use a consistent template in all these contexts reinforces the Vortex model and makes it more likely that it will be able to be recalled during the stress of an airway crisis. As such, the Vortex approach is not just an approach to the difficult airway, but to airway management in general. More information on the Vortex, including videos, an ebook, and other resources, is available for free at vortexapproach.org.